It is narrated that Musa السلام, was once walking and he passed by a man who was in prostration. He was in sujood and he was supplicating to Allah for various needs. He was beseeching Allah Azza wa Jal for his hajat. And Musa السلام, he continues and he goes on his way. After some time, Musa السلام, returns to that same path and he sees the same man in prostration and the man is still supplicating and imploring Allah to fulfill his needs and his desires. At that moment, Musa السلام, felt sorry for this man. And he turns to Allah, being Kalimullah, the one who converses with God. He asks Allah, O oh Allah, if the answering of the dua of this man was in my hands, I would have answered him. He's begging you, he's been insisting. Why is it, O oh Allah, that you have not granted him his request? When you are Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, you are the most merciful, you are the most kind, you are the most generous. Why do you not answer the dua of your servant? Allah says to Musa that, O oh Musa, his tongue is with me, but his heart is with his flock, it's with his sheep. The man was a shepherd by trade. And although he was supplicating to Allah, he had a heart that was heedless. He was not attentive. And we see, brothers and sisters, that many of us, we pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, but our hearts are not engaged. We recite the du'as just to tick a box and say that I recited a du'a. When we supplicate to Allah, if we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us, to respond to our prayers, we need to combine our tongues with our hearts. And this is why Allah says to Musa, O Musa, when his tongue is united with his heart, that is when I will respond to him.